Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Deepin, the Chinese distro which brought the excellent Deepin DE to the world, has been updated to version 15.10. It comes with a few welcome enhancements, so let's take a tour of what's new. The desktop. The window manager has been modified in the stable version of Deepin. Named DDE KWIN, it is supposed to use less RAM. I must say I didn't see a big difference between 15.10 and 15.9 when I reviewed it, since the window manager already was pretty smooth in previous versions. Deepin 15.10 also comes with a new feature, which reminds me of what Apple has added to the Mac OS X Mojave, the ability to automatically group files on the desktop by type. While Apple creates stacks, Deepin creates folders for video, audio, documents, pictures, applications and a grab bag others category. Users who like having files on the desktop will probably enjoy this, and while that's not my case, it will at least enable a less messy experience. 15.10 also has the possibility to set a slideshow of pictures as your wallpaper, with the ability to set a specific interval. This is a small but nice improvement since Deepin does not allow much customization. This at least makes the desktop a bit more personal and varied. Finally, Deepin added a few dedicated switches to turn on or off specific audio effects. This is very welcome indeed, since Deepin has an annoying boot up sound in my opinion, and this can finally be turned off easily right from the settings. Apart from these tweaks, Deepin DE stays pretty much the same, with a very simple interface based on a dock or a bottom panel, specific Deepin applications which went from nice and useful like the file manager, to very limited like the calendar. It also comes with a beautiful settings panel which comes from the right of the screen, much like Budgie's Raven notification and quick settings panel. A few things can be tweaked, such as the presence of applets in the dock or taskbar, and the look and feel of the menu going from an old screen launcher to a classic menu. The Deepin DE is a great desktop environment, and if you don't want to use Deepin for any specific reason, you can still install it on a few other distributions to try it out, most notably Fedora 30. Under the hood. Deepin 15.10 is now considered a stable version, based on Debian Stable. Previous Deepin versions were using the Debian Unstable repositories. While this means that the system will benefit from a solid base, it also means that application versions will keep lagging behind other desktop distros. While Deepin relies on many of its own apps, some of them are pretty limited, and this means you won't be able to replace them with newer, more up-to-date Linux applications. Deepin 15.10 still has the same problem it ever had. Its app store is heavily curated by the Deepin team, but these applications often are older releases. Firefox, for example, it still has version 60, while the latest one is 66. This is further aggravated by the fact that Deepin does not support Flatpak or Snap by default. This would have been a good way to bypass these outdated software versions, but you'll need to install Flatpak manually, and the Deepin store does not support installing them, so you're stuck with the command line. For a desktop distro, it's a bit strange to not allow users to have access to more recent software releases, and I think this is the main point Deepin needs to fix soon. Bug fixes and improvements A lot of bug fixes and minor improvements also have been applied to the various Deepin apps and desktop, with a lot of work on supporting display rotation and multiple display setups. The dock also have been improved upon, with the possibility to disable the trash plugin and an added option to hibernate directly from the power button. The file manager can now use advanced search, with a lot more filters to find a specific file, and its address bar has been redesigned to enable easier dragging of the window. It's also now possible to copy the file path and edit it from the contextual menu. The deep in text editor also now displays the number of characters in the status bar. Performance-wise, it seemed about the same as before with no notable improvements to a relatively slight desktop environment. On my machine, it uses about 1.5GB of RAM out of 16GB. I know some other desktops can be lighter, but Deepin DE has a bit more bling, so it's a trade-off many people will be willing to make. All in all, Deepin 15.10 is a small iteration on the distribution, but existing users will probably want the upgrade to fix some bugs and enable these new features and improvements. For those of you who don't want to install Deepin, and there are quite a lot of people who are afraid of anything coming out of China, but you still want to use their apps and DE, the updates should arrive shortly in your distro of choice, depending on how they package and release these kind of updates. 
I hope you enjoyed this little tour of the latest deep in release, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.